The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome sa Minder Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Isa siguro sa mga hindi ko makakalimutan na turo sa akin ng tatay ko ay ito. Sabi niya palagi, lagi niya sinasabi sa akin, gusto mong gawin mo, ano? Gawin mo ang gusto mo. Basta huwag ka lang makakasakit ng tao. Mukha namang wise, di ba? Seems like a wise piece of advice. Do whatever you like as long as you don't hurt anybody, as long as you don't step on anybody. And actually, he lived according to that principle. He, um, you know, he would do anything that he would like as long as it's, it's a right thing to do. It's not, it doesn't uh, hurt others or offend others. Buti naman yun. Kaya lang siguro sa pagbabasa natin ngayon ng gospel, sa pag... Um, Pag-isip natin ito sa following of Christ, going, going after Christ. Kasi sinasabi ni Jesus, if anyone wishes to come after me, to follow me. Kung gusto mong sumunod sa akin, sabi ni Jesus. Baliktad ang sinasabi. Hindi do whatever you like. Hindi do whatever you like. Jesus advises us instead to deny ourselves. Whoever wants to follow Jesus thou must deny himself and herself. Counter-cultural, di ba? Hindi naman yan ang turo din sa atin ng lipunan, ng, kahit ang mga skwela, no? Hindi naman sinasabi na sa atin ng skwela, lagi kang magbigay, na bumigay, no? Na iwan, unahin mo palagi ang iba. Hindi, kinakailangan. You, if you wanna, you know, uh, have higher grades, go strive for it. Do whatever it takes to get higher grades, to get honors, you know? Do whatever it takes. Uh, tinuturo sa atin siguro sa, sa college, no, kapag uh, lalo na kung service profession ang pinili natin, kinakailangan to be assertive. No? And that's what society tells us, teaches us to be assertive. But the Lord teaches us differently. The Lord teaches us to deny ourselves if, if we want to follow the path of Christ. Ganun naman lagi ang Diyos, di ba? Laging counter-cultural. Laging hindi, hindi sumasabay ang Diyos sa takbo ng utak ng mundo. Laging contrary to how the world thinks. And rightly so. Because the world is only up to here, up to where we are. But the Lord thinks of beyond what the world sees. God sees beyond what the world sees. Because, because God belongs to a the, the world of God is a different world. The kingdom of God is a different world. And the foresight of God is, a, is for, towards a different world. At ganun din ang gusto sa atin ng Panginoon. If you want to follow me, if you want to come after me, deny yourself. May susunod pa. Hindi lang deny yourself. Pero ito, mas naintindihan na natin ito at sinasabi na rin sa atin ito. Take up your cross daily. Madalas na natin ito naririnig at tinuturo sa atin. Tanggapin, no? Labanan na, ang pwedeng labanan, lagi, gawa ng solusyon, ang pwedeng gawa ng solusyon. Pero kung nagawa mo ng lahat, and the, the, the cross is still there, your problem is still there, kailangan tanggapin na. Kung meron kang sakit, pumunta ka na sa kono ng doktor, at sinabi, yan talagang sakit mo, eh, then you'll have to live with it. No? Kung... 
meron kang weakness, no? personal weakness. You've tried everything, you've done everything to, to fight and to uh, overcome that weakness. Kung meron pa din, siguro kailangan tanggapin na. Take up your cross and follow me. So mga tao na kasama natin sa buhay, kahit uh, kung meron silang mga sarili-sariling sar- kakulangan, no? Pwede natin i-advise, pwede natin tulungan, but in the end, we we'll have to accept them for who they are and what they are. And then, of course, Jesus asks us to follow, to do as He did, to follow Jesus. To follow not only His, uh, his uh, way of um, dressing or way of speaking, but to follow the way He thinks, you know, to follow where He's going. And where He's going is the cross and the self-denial. <laughs> So, parang isang, cir- isang circle lang. No? Isang circle lang. But this is what the Lord is asking us to do. Especially now during Lent, maybe it's important that we put more effort in, in reflecting and thinking how, how much more, what else can we do? I'm pretty sure narinig na natin itong mga advice na ni Jesus before in the past years and in the past masses, no? But how else? No? How else? Can we, kasi hindi tayo pwede maging satisfied. No? Hindi tayo maging complacent. Hindi tayo pwede, hindi natin pwede sabihin, oh, nakapag nagawa ko na yan, so okay na yan. No? I've overcome this weakness already, so okay na yan. No, we have to continue looking for ways and, and, and ways of becoming better. No? Becoming better as, as, the, as followers of Jesus. So our, our question for ourselves is, how much more? What else can we deny of ourselves? What else can we give up to follow Christ? What other crosses do we have to carry in following Christ? And how else? What else can we change in our ways of being to follow Christ? If we wish to go after Jesus. We must deny ourselves, take up our crosses, and follow Him.